Alona, the male and female were in this alley and they've actually been captured on this surveillance video. Police are hoping someone might recognize them. Now, the cab driver says he was struck with a mallet, had guns pointed at him and nearly locked in the trunk, all for around $60. You can see the staples holding the gash together in Sergio Garza's head. He says he's lucky to be alive, but he also says the man and woman who robbed him on April 19th are two because he usually has his gun with him. You're just real lucky. I would have killed both of you. It would have ended really badly. And if you continue doing what you're doing, you're either going to continue, you're going to be dead we're going to be in jail. That night, he got a call for pickup from this neighborhood near Heffernan Street. A man and woman wanted to go to Hobby Airport. He says the woman had a large purse, but there was no luggage. It's not really uncommon to have customers that don't have luggage, because usually they means, that means that they're going to be gone for a short time. As he drove towards the airport, he says the man grabbed his hair and started hitting him with a rubber mallet. They told him he was being robbed to give them his money. I'm like, dude, I'm a cab driver. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like... I mean, you're not going to get rich out of this, you know? They pulled into the back lot of this dance hall, where surveillance cameras captured brief pictures of the suspects. Garza says they also pulled guns and tried to get him in the trunk. The girl pops the trunk open, and the guy's like, get in the trunk. And at that point, I'm like, you know, nothing good ever happens when you get in the trunk. I was like, you know, so I basically started arguing with him. He was able to break free and run for help at a nearby convenience store. He says driving a cab has always had its dangers, but this wasn't his first close call. At this point now, it's not worth it because I'm getting a lot closer to losing my life. On the southeast side, Christine Dobbin, 13 Eyewitness News. And